What is up everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub. We're fishing today, we're at Lone Star right now, but I do have some pretty cool new rigs set up. I've got this one kind of set up for uh, catfishing and carp, perhaps. Um, we have a bass rig here, and then we have our regular kind of floating bobber for panfish and whatnot. Yeah, pretty cool. I've progressed in the game a little bit. I've unlocked some things. I'm pretty excited. Hello, fishing buddy, how are you? Look at this, big old sinker. The whole pole is bending already, and we are going to toss this. Oh golly, I have no idea. I kept look. I was watching tutorials about how they say to look for big boils in the water and stuff, so you know where big fish are. But I haven't really been noticing too big of boils, so we're just gonna kind of toss it out here, I think. Press C to clip the line. I don't, I don't, I don't, is that, is that for the uh, bell, I guess? So the bell is set for 95 feet, I guess. It's gonna let us know if it starts pulling there, which is kind of nice. My, my uh, fishing partner is getting upset. Okay, so on this pole we have the, uh, so I started putting fluorocarbon leaders on everything, which I think is pretty cool. A one foot point six four, yeah, that ought to work. And then we have a, a little jig, a little little thing of my bobby, little thing of my bobby on the end there. I honestly, don't know what this is supposed to sound like, so I'm kind of eager to see what happens. What we have on that pole is just some uh, cut up bait, and then as you can see right there, I have a little bell, so that'll let us know if we catch anything. Hopefully, anyway. Whoo, we got something. Got something there. Not a lot of drag, though. Nice little spotted bass there. On the grub. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got something. Another little bass. The bass are loving this little grub right now. And if they love the grub, I love the grub. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go. Got something else here. Oh yeah. Oh, he's pulling me. Look at that big old spotted bass there. Nice. Okay, the red ear sunfish are just going bananas right now. Just swallowing up this pet food. They love this pet food. Ooh, yep. Yep, yep. My god, look at this freaking monster! A 10.877 inch red ear sunfish. He is freaking huge. Oh my god. He's almost a pound. That is a giant sunfish. Like, that is a giant. Look at this. That is how big this sunfish is. It's, hum it's, it's humongo. See what I mean? They just take it before I can even finish taking a sip. Another nice red ear sunfish. Oh, come on, take it. Oh my god. I was in the middle of freaking talking to that guy. But we just got a challenge. Holy float. Catch a certain number of fish using the float tackle. Right on. We're at 17 bait coins right now. I think that's what they're called anyway. Okay. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna switch out our bait. Um, some Alina balls so we can set up for carp here. And we are gonna take our rod. We've been fishing this little corner back here for a little bit and I'm ready to move inward. There we go. All right. Well, it's all set up for carp, and we will see what we catch, I suppose. Until then, we're going to try to catch some bass. Fun that I got to hear the uh, sound of the bell now. At least know what to, uh... Oh, shoot. Right as I put my cast out, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a little crappie. Well, that's not at all what I wanted to get. Mm. 
Oh my god. Got a little bit of drag there. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> we got our first channel cat. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Oh my god. He's beautiful. He's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <sighs> I have wanted a channel cat. He's only a young channel cat, but he's so nice looking goodness gracious and of course he's being a, such a gentleman about being caught got one catch over here for a chain pickerel and now i got something on the pole oh yeah here we go really hoping it's a channel cat i need a channel cat or a black uh bullhead would be okay too yeah look at this new young channel cat oh my god I'm loving the channel cat so cool oh, dang it dang it I'm catching fish I hate that Woo! set the hook set the hook doesn't seem to be pulling very much does it what's this little channel cat yep another young channel cat Kind of wanted to change the bobber. The uh, the one I have on there is a very heavy weight, which allows us to throw it further, I guess. But at the same time, it doesn't react very well to being bitten. So we might be going, we might go back and forth on them. I'm not really sure at the moment. But hopefully, we can catch some shiners off of these semolina balls. Is the goal? Got something here. Hello, crappie. There are some little things going here. Gosh dang it. Another young channel cat. I am looking forward to catching an actual, like, you know, good sized channel cat. So far, they've all been young channel cat. I wonder if it's just because we're using the, uh, you know, the very small cut up bait or what. Um, but yeah. Since we are wanting to get some, um, some bullhead, maybe we'll switch to this dog food here and then we'll, uh, throw it back out. I wish I knew if there was a key to, uh, let line out. Hey, there we go, a little black shiner, black tail shiner. Nice, very nice, very nice. We're crossing them off, everyone. Perfect timing, perfect timing as always. Oh, look at that, look at that. That's a bit more drag there. That's a bit more drag there. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Be something big. Yes! Full-size channel cat, finally! Finally! 17 inches long, too. Right on, everyone. Let's take a look at this next to my body here. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty decent, I mean, pretty standard size, I suppose. He weighed 2.214 pounds. I can't really think of what channel cat I'm used to catching weigh. You would think around there, if not more. Three pounds or something. Three, three or more. Very nice. That's a that's a good channel cat. For, for I mean, for what I've done so far. And that was on the, uh, yeah, the pet food. Level 13. Hey, check it out. We got some uh, heavier lures there. What is that? Wax worms. Okay. We got some longer craws. I hate how they never tell me which ones are for uh, bait coins and which ones are for buying with actual, you know, the in-game currency. Oh, we got nibbles on our casting rod. Yep. Oh, look at this! A pumpkin seed! <laughs> really wanted that pet food. Um, uh, you know, they're biting on uh, pet food and they're biting on the... Uh, Small cut bait. I say we just move back to the small cut bait. I think it's a little bit bigger, and we may be uh, may may catch larger fish because of it. Some some to it. Hey, there we go. Bullhead, bullhead. There we go. These dudes are freaking sick. All right, this dude's like coming to like take my spot. Don't you take my spot, bro? See my bullhead? See him? Pretty nice. 
Oh, another Blacktail Shiner. Dang it. Well, I tell you what, while we're waiting, let's just throw out another one of these bad boys. Another bullhead. Nice. Nice little bullhead. For, you know, for weighing a pound, $31 isn't very much. There we go. Got something. Largemouth bass here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C.994 pounds, $81. I see the catfish seem like they're just, uh, they're not really worth it. Here we go. Another little bass here. Nope. A little chain, a little, uh, grass picker roll. Here we go. Got something. Oh, dang. Look at that drag. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice little chain pickerel, 18.26 inches. Very nice, very nice. I saw the little swell, and I thought, oh my gosh, that could be a good fish right there. Let's uh, change the time to 5 p.m. Here we go. Got something here. Yes, right. Look at him fight. Look at him fight on the shad, too. A little largemouth bass. Very nice. We're about to hit our maximum capacity here. It's taking it. Oh, no! Frick! Gosh dang it! I tried to decrease the drag! No! Did you see how big that fish was? It immediately hit! Oh my gosh! So we need to decrease the drag on that because we don't want that to happen again. Gosh dang it! Could have been a bowfin. Could have been a bowfin, everyone. Really could have been. Gosh, that had to be a big fish, right? Ah. <sighs> Oh, here we go. First bass on the bass jig. Right on. Sick, that is awesome. It's so fun in this game to try different lures out and then actually catch a fish with them. It's, it's so much fun. Um, unfortunately, that's going to put us over the edge of our, uh, yeah, of our catch there. Let's look at the fish keeper here. Unfortunately, I think a lot of the catfish... Although they're fun and, uh, and you know, the pole, you know, starts tugging her away and you're like, oh no, it's going to take it. Um, they weigh one and a half pounds and they take up, they only give you $60. I mean, at the same time, the largemouth bass are one and a half pounds, $177. It's ridiculous how much more money you get from a largemouth bass than a catfish. That large fish, um, so... My leader I have on right now is 4.4 pounds. Um, you can't see it, but it's basically this 4.4 pound test. Um, and then the actual line is six pounds on this. Um, so I know the drag was really tightened, but that fish had to be five to, you know, five to seven, you know, five to six pounds plus, I guess. A good way to put it. Um, so Mondo fish would have been our biggest fish we had caught for sure. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't work out for us. Okay, so, so we're setting time forward. Oh, we have to wait two minutes. Frickin' frack. All right, mobile game for two minutes. Keeping the drag pretty low on uh, on this casting rod now. I just don't want it to. Oh my gosh! Our first freshwater drum. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I'm so psyched about that. 2.604. We got the bogus out. Got the bogus out. Oh, uh, let's take a let's look at this. I hold it like this. 
This look like other alien. I mean, I human. This look like alien though. That is so cool. That's one of the bigger fish that we've caught so far, I want to say. Wasn't what we were going for, but uh, yeah, that'll work anyway. This likes crankbaits and shad. Also likes shiner, large minnows, and small cub bait. Another drum! Right on! Another personal record. You know, for weighing nearly three pounds, $90 really isn't too much. Still really cool to get another fish though, a different type of fish. I think anyway is really cool. It's hopping, it's hopping, hopping like a pickerel, like a pickerel. A little chain pickerel, very nice. <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, we got the green sunfish, okay. We only have one more fish to get, the common shiner, and we're using the semolina ball, so we should have the best chance of getting it. Panfish overlord, catch certain number of panfish. That's me, Panfish Overlord. That should be my new name. It's already the BZ Hub Overlord, but it, it wouldn't be too hard to change it to Panfish Overlord. <laughs> oh, right at the very end. Oh, he flew at us. <laughs> Little chain pickerel. Very nice. We need a few more of those because we're running out of time in this day. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god, it flew at us. <laughs> Look, grass pickerel? No, chain pickerel. Nice. Very nice. Little bullhead. New personal record bullhead, though. That makes it just a tiny bit better. <laughs> um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to change the time to night time. Right around uh, 4, 3.30 or so. I guess we can't change it to 3.30, so maybe around 4. So when you night fish, there, you can you can change the time whenever you want to. There's no cooldown for changing the time. But um, you should know that... Hello, Stacy. Oh, we got something. Little pickerel. Little grass pickerel. I get so excited every time I see a little, uh, you know, little narrow fish. I'm like, oh my god, it could be the bowfin. Uh, but no, not so lucky. Oh! This has got some pull to it. I think the drag's pretty good right now. It's still pulling me out, but I don't think we can do too much more. Oh man, it surfaced there. Oh, it is pulling us. I have to think that this is a bowfin. Really? And I think we're doing okay. We just need to fight with him for a bit. God, he just surfaced again. Oh my god. Dude, this has got to be a big fish. It really has to. change directions it's getting closer to us now he's getting tired he's 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 got to be getting tired oh my god did you see 
that? Did you see that thing? He's at 30. He's at 30. 27. He's getting so close. Trying to keep the pressure on him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. It's a bowfin. Oh my gosh. We got the bowfin. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Look at this thing. Holy cow. We bought that thing forever. And it's because it's close to four pounds. And like I told you before, the leader is 4.4 pounds. And so if I would have tightened the drag all the way, there's a good chance that he would have broke it just flat out. And I think the first time we caught one of these bad boys, that's exactly what happened. It just straight up broke it. And, uh, <laughs> God, that is so cool. Oh, my goodness gracious. I have to get a picture. Do I hold it like these? The snake, the snake alien? One alien holding the other alien? I mean, no, I'm human. <laughs> my guy looks, he's like, yeah, I caught a fish. I don't understand what's the big deal. I don't, I don't get it. Mission accomplished. Mud water trial complete. We got the casting spoon. Quarter ounce. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Yellow with the with the five of diamonds on it. So sick. I'm so happy right now. I really, really am. Uh, the bowfin was one of those I was really excited to get, and I hope that tomorrow morning we'll be able to get the common shiner and finish up mud water all together. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we're gonna need to take this bad boy and uh, reel him in before we uh, can move the time along. <sighs> well, unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna be the day for the common shiner. So we're gonna have to leave that for another day. I think I'm gonna finish up just doing some bass fishing, but I really appreciate you all watching. Um, like and subscribe as as always, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, by the way, keep gaming, never stop.